So I got bored, yeah, and embarked on several bounties in for pers For those of you who don't know what that is, that means first person shooter is pretty much what it stands for. So today, guys, I played in first person to enhance immersion. And you know what? Man found some next alien dinosaur remains or something along them lines. You get me? And I got into a whole bunch of shit that might fuck up man's career. So stay tuned for the video. <laughs> So the first thing I had to do was load up an ammunition before heading straight to the bounty board to choose a victim. A short while later I came up on a small compound in the desert where I switched to f and scaled the roof. After peeking over the roof, I noticed a lonesome ute guarding the entrance. And after scalping him, the whole tribe came out of the woodwork, fam. So I held my position and began the mass scalping. Once everyone was dead, I hung around, looting, waiting for some kind of payout. I needed some money for this shit, you get me? But it didn't come. So I thought, fuck it, and headed back to find the next bounty. After a long ass ride through the desert, a few awkward slopes and an African view. I caught up with the next bounty. Now guys, if I was taking this squad on in third person, I'd rather just rush them fam, I'd take them out no problem. But seeing I'm doing this in fps, I decided to scout them out first for maximum efficiency. I tried to clap the horse in the head because I was having issues with controlling my aim whilst in this first person camera angle. And I think it's safe to say Rockstar legit fucked up with his FPS on the horseback controls, man. It shit just don't work, bro. It's fucking me up. So I eventually ditched the horse and took on the last few mandem on foot. I was waiting for payment when I realized the bounty had got away somehow. When a bald headed eagle landed right in front of me, so I had to snatch that and then I missed my opportunity to catch the bounty. So in a moment of rage, I draped the local off his wagon and made my way to Armadillo to try again. After parking my wagon in a designated parking bay, I took on another bounty. And after realizing how blood cleat far it was, I prepared myself for a big man journey. And 45 minutes later, I arrived at an old ass broke down barn with a few mandem who shouldn't be an issue to take out.
After I finished my extermination measures, I realised the pack leader had left about five minutes earlier, so I was like, rah, I'm gonna catch this geezer. And I shit you not guys, I shot this geezer's horse about 15 times before it dropped. Allowing me to ratter clatter this geezer in his cranium with my cattleman revolver. And a few moments later, yeah, he just casually rose from the dead and tried to cut loose like shit didn't just happen. So I tied him up when he pot shot man in the leg. So I handed him to a sketchy Mexican in the local area as punishment. Let me guess. You're innocent. You can tell me all about it on the way. After a day's hard work, I was calling for a cab when I saw something which resembled some kind of skeletal system partially buried in the sand and I was like, ah, oh, let me go see what I go on over here. So I proceeded to examine and after confirming my initial predictions and sharking a local. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, I love doing these videos, man. These videos crack me up. It's, it's like I'm just telling some some mad stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what these videos are. So I probably piss some people off when I do that Xbox off sound effect at the end, but I, it, it, I find that funny, man. Leaving it on a cliffhanger thing, you get me? Not like shit else happened after that. I don't really know like how to do these outros like because I've got used to um, just cutting my videos off recently. I struggle with the outros, man, so I'm just like, yo, if you guys like some of the videos that I put out, then just support the cause, man. Subscribe to the channel because I want to do better videos and like I feel like the only way for me to do better videos is for me to get a few subscribers who like give me some decent feedback and I can improve through all the negative comments and the people, people, the things people don't like, you know what I mean? Just take all that and push my channel in the way where it should be going, where you guys want it to go without waffling on too much, support me. And hopefully I can do videos 10 times the quality with 10 times the speed, with better equipment, better PC. If you guys enjoy it, then, then yeah, stick around. Other than that, guys, thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm officially over 200 subscribers now, like, like, I'm on like 207 subscribers right now. It's been fluctuating the last couple few weeks because um, I guess I haven't been posting as regular. I've lost one or two, but then I've gained them back. So like, I am growing. I'm on 207 subscribers right now. So hopefully we can get to 300 if I can up my game on content quality and production speed. You get me with the shitty fucking cardboard box computer I've got. But other than that, guys, yeah, thanks for being here anyway. I'll see you on the next one. And we out. Yeah.